Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 2 of the same topic and we are going to do the continuation of the innings 8.1. So now here it said that 7 more than half a number is 42 and you have to find the number. So we don't know the number so let us consider here the number be x. So half a number is going to be x by 2 means half into x because this number so we can write this as x by 2 so 7 more than half a number is is 42 means what will you write here x by 2 plus 7 e is means is equal to 42 so this expression is important so now this x by 2 will keep it on the left hand side this is already on the right hand side so plus 7 goes on the right side so it is going to be minus 7 so here x by 2 will be 35. So now what will you do? We want the value of x. So this goes there on the right side. So it will be 35 multiplied by 2. So x is 70. So we have considered x as the number as x. So we can write here the number is 70. Now here the sum of three consecutive multiples of 8 is 96 and you have to find the multiples. So we will consider let three consecutive multiples of 8 be. We can consider because of multiples of 8. So 8 into x that will be 8x. So the other number will be 8 into x plus 1. So see x plus 1 should be in the bracket. And the third number should be 8 into x plus 2. So this x plus 2 should be in the bracket. So you have to be careful with this one. So now it is inside the sum. Sum means you are going to add all these three numbers. So this is what is there you have to put a plus sign in between and that is 96 so this is 96 so this step is important here so 8x as it is here you are going to expand it 8x plus 8 here again you will expand it 8x plus 16 that is here and this is 96 so now let us see the x there are three eights means that is going to be 24x and here will be 8 plus 16 that is going to be plus 24 this is 96. So 24x will be on the left hand side. This is already on the right hand side. So this goes there on the right. So that is going to be minus 24. So 24x is 72. So x is going to be 72 divided by, because this is multiplication, so it is going to get divided by 24. And if you know 24 times table, so 24 3 is 72. So we got the value of x as 3. So we have to find out what they said. They find the multiples. Now we have considered this as the multiples. So here will be 8x. So 8 into x, that will be 8 into this 3 because we've got the value of x as 3. That will be 24. Then 8 into x plus 1. So 8 into, in place of x, we'll write here 3. So 8 into this is 4. So that is 32. 8 into x plus 2. So here will be, in place of this x, you are going to write here 3. That is going to be 5. So 8 into 5, that is going to be 40. So the multiples are 24, 32, and 40. So this is 24, 32, and 40. So now two angles of a right angle triangle are in the ratio 1 is to 5 and find each angle of the triangle. Now see here, this is a right angle triangle. So you know in a right angle triangle, one angle is this going to be 90 degree. And we have to find out this and this angle. So now what will you do? They said in, that is in the ratio of 1 is to 5. So let two angles be. 1 means we can put 1 into x. That will be x. And 5 into x. That is going to be 5x. So let them now these angles be 5x and 5x. So now two angles of a, this triangle. And you know the third angle is as we have seen. That is because it's a right angle. That is 90 degree. So the sum of angles of a. And a triangle means that it is always 180. So angle sum property. So what we can write here, x plus 5x plus this 90 degree, you can put a here. That is going to be 180. So now this, when you add this, this is going to be 6x plus 90 degree. This is 180. So keep this 6x on the left hand side. And 180 is on the right. So plus 90 is going to be here. That is going to be minus 90 degrees. So 
six x is going to be here when you subtract that it's going to be 90 degree so when you divide this one so you get 15 15 6 and 90 so x is 15 degree so now what we want here we want we got x is 15 so we want here 5x so 5x is going to be 5 into 15 that is going to be 75 so they have said find each angle of the triangle so one uh, this we know that is 15 75 and the other one we know that is 90 so the angles are 15 degree 75 degree and 90 degree now here rupees 1260 is divided into two parts the first part is four more than three times the second part and you have to find the two parts so now see your first part is four more than three times the second part means you should know what is the second part so we'll start with this one this is very important more than three times the second part so we are going to consider the second part as x so let second part be x so this step is important so now here the first part is four more four more than three times three times means this is going to be three x and four more than means it is going to be three x plus four hope this is clear so now what are you going to do you are going to add this one you have to find this one so what will be that this x plus three x plus four and that is because they said 1260 is divided so this is 1260 so 4x plus 4 is equal to 1260 so 4x is going to be 1260 and this plus 4 goes down the other side that is going to be minus 4 so 4x is 1256 so x is going to be this is multiplication so it is going to get divided by 4 so this will be 314 so x is 314 so the second part is 314 and the first part is going to be this 3x plus 4 that will be 3 into 314 plus 4 so this will be 942 plus 4 which is 946 so we can write here there's the two parts are 349 rupees and rupees that is 946 Here, the present ages of Sagar and Rahul are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. And 5 years from now, the sum of the ages will be 55. So now let us consider when the ratio is given 2 is to 3 means we can just write here, let present age of Sagar, Sagar be 2x. So we multiply this by x and the present age of Rahul will be 3x. So now here 5 years from now, so in that will be 5 years means in 5 years. What is that going to be? Saga's age will be, you are going to add 5 to it. So we already have here 2x, so 2x plus 5. And here Raoul's age will be, we have considered this as 3x, so 3x plus 5. And they said, sum of the ages will be 55. So you are going to add this 2, because they said in 5, five years. So 2x plus 5 plus 3x plus 5, that is going to be 55. So this statement is, this equation is important. So now you are going to take the like terms that will be 5x and this is going to be plus 10 is 55. So 5x will be 55 and plus 10 is going to be minus 10. So your 5x is going to be, this is 45. So your this x is going to be 45 and divided by five. So x is going to be nine. So present age of saga will be how much? That is, this is two x, so that will be, 2 into 9 that is going to be 18 and present odds of Rahul will be that is 3x that will be 3 into this 9 that is 27 years. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.